got a good knee flex there. As we come back, the club should come back straight back from the ball. Good shoulder turn. You turn a little bit more with the shoulders. You get the hands a little bit higher. Not much. The club is a little bit laid off, but not too bad. See how he's down the line with this one? It's just a matter of turning the shoulders a little bit more. Now you're changing turn it a little bit more. Yeah, underneath. If you can get your chin up a little bit more, it'll just give you a little more clearance. See how much he's turning his yeah. shoulders right underneath his chin? That's not huge, but it'll give you a little more extra power. Now you're changing direction from back swing to forward swing. You're driving with your legs nicely. The hands are coming down. It's a little bit more of a gap than you're losing a little bit of power because that's how close his hands are to his thigh. It just, it's not coming outside, but it's, it could be a little bit more inside. It just, you're giving a, a little bit more power away again. And you can get your weight transferred onto your left side with your hip turning a little bit sooner. So you're a little bit flat-footed there at impact. See how the club is behind him, and he's got about 90% of weight on his front foot. Mm -hmm. He's still got a little bit more weight on that back foot. You do get it on the left side. It's just after the fact. So you do have a nice bounce swing. Just getting this happening a little bit sooner. But the rest of it's good. The, the 